A self-driving car was destroyed in the middle of San Francisco's Chinatown streets during a Lunar New Year celebration. But what really happened? You know, this is not a traditional New Year celebration. Uh, what's going on? It says video captures Google self-driving robo-taxi being set on fire in SF Chinatown. Let's just run the clip. New at 11, today's Lunar New Year celebrations took a dangerous and destructive turn in San Francisco's Chinatown tonight. A Waymo car was graffitied and set on fire by a mob of people on Jackson Street near Grant Avenue at about 9 o'clock. Waymo tells us nobody was inside the vehicle at the time and the fire started after a window was broken and a firework thrown inside. Firefighters quickly extinguished those flames. The car is a total loss as you can see. Police are now investigating. Oh my Ooh. goodness, man. You hey, hate David. to see it. Enter. This was a Jaguar. David, talk about, you know, burning some incense for the ancestors, but why don't we just go and burn a car? Uh, I think immediately when I saw this video, man, I hate to see it in Chinatown, especially when the people who are destroying the car and ultimately setting it on fire are not even Chinese because... That's just not something that Chinese people would do. I'm not saying in the video, there's not some broccoli haircutted teens probably being like, yo, dude, this is lit. This yeah, is lit. Yeah. But they're just recording it. They're not the ones setting the car on yeah, fire. Yeah, it was probably people who were not there for the Chinatown celebration. And well, they had skateboards, so I'm assuming they might have been skaters. Right. I mean, some of them had skateboards. But anyways, guys, uh, we're going to go through the comment section. Please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Also, check out Small Ass Sauce. Sold out right now, but we're going to start pre-orders for the next batch soon. Be ready for it. When you see the clip, it looks like <clears throat> SF is being stereotypical, lawless, post-apocalyptic yeah. society. But it gets more complicated once you look at the details. Okay, so David, I think... First of all, you see people destroying a car in the middle of the street. Not good for any reason. But what is the reasoning probably? All right, what there's a lot the of reasons. Story? There's a lot of reasons that the articles talk about. But let me just say one of the unspoken reasons is that people feel like Chinatown is like an other world where you can just do whatever you want. Whether okay. that's hurt old people or set the cars on fire. That's, it's not, that's it's, the unspoken element that it, you won't see written right. in any you news articles. You know what articles. it is? It's not their neighborhood. Yeah. So you're more willing to cause destruction outside of and your neighborhood. And doesn't it feel like some other world? You're looking at these crazy neon signs, all these characters you can't read. Sure, yeah, to them, yes. Yes, and here's the part where it's like, this is the part that all the articles obviously are savvy to. Cruise, which is not Waymo, they hit a pedestrian in their self-driving car. Cruise lost his license. So if you guys don't know, San Francisco had multiple driverless taxi services operating, essentially robo-taxis. Right. Waymo didn't have that issue, but Waymo did like, you know, bump into a biker and stuff like that. So there's already this feeling of like the old SF versus the new SF. The new SF, Andrew, is all the robo, you know, tech founder moguls that want to like do dystopian futures. And the old SF is like hyper anti-establishment, V for vendetta. We want to fight against the matrix. Well, basically the people generally don't like these robo taxis well the old sf no well yeah just the people like the skateboarders they don't like it right the skateboarders are more fighting the resistance well because the robo taxis one of them critically injured a woman did not die but did critically injure right. a pedestrian and so this waymo car is on its way to pick up people but it doesn't understand that it's chinese new year lunar new year the streets of chinatown are packed so the car is like stalled out but trying to move forward so it's kind of moving through the crowd yeah, it's like stopped at the edge of it, but it gets stopped for a while, and then people start to go, you know, and I don't think they're they're celebrating the year of the dragon, to be honest. These skater guys, they're just hanging out, maybe enjoying just the litness. Maybe they think the Chinese New Year is not lit enough, so they decide to start breaking the windows, tagging up the car. Eventually, they break open the windows of the Waymo, which is a Jaguar I-Pace, throw the fireworks in there. Mm. And, and I'm just saying that, like, you hate to see it because... But I guess it could have prevented a lot of ways. I'm not asking Chinese people to like stop these people because they're, some of the young Chinese are like recording it and they're like thinking it's lit and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah. too. So it's like kind of just a really unfortunate scene all around. Yeah, I just think that uh, even though no humans were hurt in this destruction of this car, still Anytime you bring that energy to a celebration, it can lead to other things. So it doesn't make Chinatown safer 
because you burned a car in the middle of the street. Not only that, the emissions from burned metal are incredibly toxic. Yeah, and it causes a mess. People got to come through. There's that reputation. Oh, a car just bur got burned here. Everybody has to go clean it up. Um, so obviously, I'm against this. I do understand why people don't like these robo taxis. Right, because they rush the technology, right? Yeah, I, I probably I don't. Maybe I don't the ride technology them. got adopted too fast, too quick, right? Yeah, you know, and I think that this is maybe not something that the robo taxi company saw coming, but this is definitely not good for them. Well, they should learn from it, right? Yes. Avoid Chinatown on Lunar New Year. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah. So, I think it's just a lot of people want to set something on fire, though. They want an excuse to destroy something. No, because that's lit to them, and that's the issue, though. That's the issue. Anyways, let's get into the comment section. We must fight against the madness, Sarah Connor. People are talking about framing it in terms of these guys are V for Vendetta, Andrew. These are the robots in the Matrix. You know, in Zion, where they have to like, you know how Neo like enters the real world and he got to yeah, fight the robots. Yeah, I mean, I think a, when it comes to the self-driving cars, I actually think a lot of people are like, you know, uh, hesitant about it. Like, I'm not in a rush to jump into one. Right. Like, I think it'll be a really long time before they adopt it in New York or now, a city outside of SF, to be honest. If you know the environment of SF, one side of it, like I said, hyper liberal, like almost anarchist, and one side's like hyper, like pro, pro tech. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a weird convergence, like I said, of old SF thinking and new SF tech, SF, right? Um, other people were just saying, man, I can't believe it was non Asians. You know what I mean? But then it is true that some of the younger Asians, Andrew, they're enjoying it, trying to get their IG or Snapchat. Yeah, yeah, somebody. everybody's trying to get an IG moment, yeah. Um, somebody was like free, framing, it, uh, framing it in terms of like, well, maybe we should do that because they're taking our jobs and destroying humanity. Some people are viewing it through the lens of humans versus robots. Was it a successful protest? I, you know, in a messed up way, I, I think it does think make Waymo think differently, but... It also kind of hurts Chinatown, so I'm I'm like uh, how about it. Let's just say this, like I said, I'm there's not such against a convergence of factors that have to come into play because you're not going to feel comfortable doing this in any other place other than Chinatown, too. Right. I see a lot of people do. I, don't, I would never want to normalize destruction of property, so I'm against that. But also, yeah. dude, yeah. just because this incident didn't hurt anybody, the lack of law and order, it's going to spiral. To just leading to more people getting hurt that are yeah. innocent. Yeah, that don't true. deserve to get hurt. It's not you know, good I'm not yet. talking about street people on street people. I'm talking about street people on regular law abiding citizens. Um, is it even illegal? Is anything even illegal in San Francisco anymore? People are just saying, dude, civilization ends when people stop acting civilized, which mm. in America was about four to five years ago. And they're not saying, I'm not saying it's any side, it's everybody. It's crime in the streets, it's theft, it's January 6th insurrection. Is it, Andrew, has civilization? started to end because people are no longer acting civilized. Well, this is what they call civil unrest, right? It's like a lot of uh, an uptick in maybe not necessarily crime on individuals, but just destruction of things. People, people just genuinely people not feel, following rules anymore, Yeah, right? people feel like they want to destroy things, and I think that that's not good. It can't be, bro. Yeah. I'm not saying I can't empathize with some of the reasons and the feelings and the emotions. Of course, there's multiple sides to everything, guys. Um, somebody said, uh, you know, I think Waymos actually drive better than most human drivers because they're less aggressive and they're always trying to follow rules and they come to a super full stop at stop signs. It just hasn't gotten the programming to understand holiday behavior yet. Right, right, right. I mean, do you think it's just a matter of time? They need to get the computer programmers to update the firmware, right? Put the Lunar New Year pack in there. No, no, I, I get that human drivers probably make more mistakes on average. Like the rate of injuries with robo taxis is probably lower actually than the injuries by driver humans. But but is it lower than the injuries caused by professional drivers? If you take all drivers mm. in general, which are just People who are drunk out on a Friday night driving their own or, or car. Or just like reckless in every uh, yeah. every aspect of but, their life. But like of taxis, what's the rate of crashing and hurting people? I, I'm curious about that. Yeah. Well, even in that cruise situation where that lady got dragged 20 feet, she was running her red on the pedestrian sign. But then they're accusing the cruise car, and I'm not saying right or wrong, the cruise car didn't stop quick enough because it dragged her. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Anyway, guys, bad. like I said, you know, ah, she could have died. Honestly, if she died, 
They yeah. should not reinstate Cruz because Cruz is with GM, Waymo's with Google, and you trust General Motors more, or you trust Google more. Technologically. Does, does General Motors even got good tech in their cars in 2024? I doubt it. Um, ultimately, Andrew, what's going on? Like a car gets set on fire, Chinese New Year. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Well, I'm, just it's not I'm, good. Yeah, that's my whole thing. I'm saying, listen, guys, I don't know. Hey, I'm, hey, hey, you know what? Both cannot be good. Both are true. Self-driving cars, not that great. Destroying cars in the middle of the street, bad. Both do you bad. think that Chinatowns could do a better job self-regulating? Because it's true that they weren't able to, like, I guess, stop the people from destroying the car. But also, Chinatowns are not like that. I mean, to get involved with destructive people, as long as they're not attacking people. I mean, I, I see a lot of Chinese people just not being involved in that, yeah. Uh, or not wanting to get involved. But anyways, uh, guys, you let me know in the comments down below what you think. Um, it's just another bad SF story. Classic. It almost feels like a meme now. Oh, SF is this way. Uh, the human it? versus robots elements and the Viva Vendetta elements. Yeah, this was not laugh. human on human, thankfully. It was human on computer. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.